Hello everybody. Welcome back to my YouTubes. Today for you, we have something very special. There's been a request two times for an apparently life-changing ultimate Canadian burger offered to you from Jungle Gyms. So everybody, that's where I'm off to today. Request of Andrea and HK. Thank you for the requests. Be sure to keep them coming in, people, because you know I want to go try the places where you think are the best. There's so many toppings on this burger. You'll need three hands to count them all. Another Halifax mukbang. Hi everybody, welcome back to my YouTubes for my Halifax mukbang of the Ultimate Canadian Burger. So on this patty, we have an enormous amount of toppings. We have a sirloin patty, salted maple barbecue sauce, topped with fried cheese curds, Canadian back bacon, lettuce, tomato, mayo, and red onion. I mean, all right, let's, I mean, let's do it. My my uh my friends follow me on youtube and give me recommendations i received a few already i'm so happy for it i'm coming in guys uh i love the participation and you know i'm going to give you a good show when i go out to try your suggestion so here we go i'm going to go in and get that ultimate canadian burger to share with you guys i'm so excited here we go all right here we go Thanks, I'm here to pick up a pickup order for your employees. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> and what's the total? It is 21.83. Thank you. All right, thank you very much. Have a nice evening. And there we have it, guys. Easy as that. Phone the order in about 20 minutes ago. And now I've come to pick it up. And we're heading back to the car. Hi, everybody. Well, I've got the food. I've got the ultimate Canadian burger. And I'm here with my trusty steering wheel tray to enjoy this lovely, delectable, delicious request with you guys. I'm almost certain that Jungle Gyms is a Newfoundland franchise that branched out into other places of Canada. If I'm wrong about that, please let me know uh, in the comments below. But I, I know that there were a few locations in Newfoundland that started off, um, you know, peppered all over the place. Very popular in the 90s for sure. I remember when the first lo location opened up on Torbay Road in St. John's. I mean, packed all the time, so popular company i'm not surprised of course they had the pepsi diet pepsi is on the list here today so i always give the usually the can a little tap like that and then open it up mm. diet pepsi i mean can't go wrong burger with the fries the can of pop came to 21.83 of course we have a 15 percent tax here in halifax nova scotia and of course it's always nice to tip, so I left 15%. So the total, I think, was around $25. Nice to give him a little tip here. She was really nice to me inside, very helpful. So give him a little tip, right? So here it is, nondescript bag. So I'll have to do a thumbnail when I take the food out. Holy moly. I've just opened up the food. I'm gonna get some other close-ups. That bun. Nice, lightly toasted, lightly toasted. Look at all those toppings on there, though. I'm going to get a better close up for you guys so you can see this. And OMG. Look at these fries. These are the fries. 
Mm. Nearly, mm, nearly, nearly perfect. Nearly perfect. A little bit more warm than hot, but I don't know how they do it with these fries. Get them that color. These are like my ideal fries that I would have. Of course, my favorite fries would be Ziggy's, a Newfoundland thing down at the Regatta, uh, down on Water Street, a uh, place up on Ropewalk Lane. I've often said that fries would be my last meal. Fries like this, that's it. Yes. Look at those. That close up. The crispy goodness. And then we have a look at this great, or the ultimate Canadian burger. Let's lift up the lid here and see what we have. So, the mayo and shredded lettuce are on the top of the bun. You can see there on the edges, it's lightly toasted, which I really like on a burger. We have some remnants of lettuce there. Now let me see if I can get, in, get into this. Okay, so that sauce is definitely covering a lot of the top of the burger one slice of tomato and then i don't know how i'm going to get under that um just so you can have a look i think that's the patty it's a sirloin patty but it is covered in a lot of stuff so i'm going to try and get that up so you can have a better look wow <laughs> all right guys this is an insane burger so the bun is doing its best to you know hold on to all this it might need a little bit of help like a more sturdier bun but you see all this this is the cheese curds this is all the cheese curds that's melted and it's out over the bun and there's your patty and then one tomato on the top there Let's see if i can lift up the cheese see all that cheese there that's all the cheese curds wow Tomato, you're gonna have to work overtime today. You got one tomato there. <laughs> one tomato and a lot to go. All right. Well, it's safe to say that this is going to be a mess. Um, but you know what? That's the name of the game. All for the love of the craft. All for the love of burgers, for the love of mukbangs. Supporting local and having some fun. If anybody watches other food programs, you'll no notice that sometimes when they have a really big burger, they have to do something called a hunch. So that's where you kind of get in, you get that burger. Elbows out front, stick the butt out, and let's go in for the ultimate Canadian burger at Jungle Gyms. The first bite, I'm really tasting the beef and the tomato. I, the tomato is really helping cutting through with that acid to give you a break from all the other unctuousness, right? A little bit of acid element really helps to cut through that so each bite isn't kind of monotonous. So it'll help to break through that and kind of gives the taste buds something else to pay attention to. Mm. Now I'm tasting the barbecue sauce. It's delicious. See how this cheese is just mass exodus it's like britain trying to get out of the european union just trying to get out of there look going in for my next one over here i think in this one i definitely see some bacon mm. Mm. as you can see the mayo spot on i really wouldn't choose any other sauce to put on this because of the sweet barbecue sauce that's on it already the mayo just complements it really beautifully the only thing with this burger, I just don't think the bun can sustain it. Like it's a nice bun, but there's so much happening on the burger that the bun is having a lot of trouble keeping up. So let's try and fold in some of that cheese. Get back in there, Britain. Get back into the European Union. Oh, see that bite in there? That one right in the middle. Mmm. I just had probably the perfect bite. That was the perfect bite. Really delicious. The sauce is all blended in together. The ones that are the barbecue, the mayo, and of course the flavor of that burger. 
really good. Pepsi. Pepsi. All right, guys, I'm going to move on over to these fries here. Like I said, I mean, fries like this, they're going to be a home run with me every time. I really couldn't remember that uh, Jungle Jim's fries were like this. You know, when I think Jungle Jim's, I think of curly fries. I remember they used to be like a really popular thing to get with that ketchup. Mmm. Mm, mm, mm. I'm just wondering, has anybody tried some of the other places that I've been to? Did you get that pretzel burger bun? How about a buffalo chicken sandwich from Harvey's? Places to go. Gotta hit them all. Gotta do them all. Gotta let the peeps know what's happening in Halifax. We have some good food here. Would you guys go out and try this ultimate Canadian burger? What would make it more Canadian? We've got the pea bacon. We've got the poutine, the cheese curds. What would make it more Canadian? What could we put on it? Delicious burger. Really good. I think if I ordered it again, I would order it with extra pickles or something like that. These fries would also be good. Really good. On a poutine. Fries dressing gravy, which is fries, stuffing, and gravy for those of you who call stuffing or dressing stuffing. And here down east, we call it dressing. Well, I call it dressing. Sometimes I call it stuffing too. Pepsi. Pepsi. And for one more, one more glorious attempt. This is where I am so far. Lots of fries and of course our delicious burger. All that beautiful sauce. Lovely fresh tasting. All right, everybody, here we are at the end of another Halifax Mukbang from Jungle Jim's Eatery in Halifax, Nova Scotia. Thank you so much for joining me on another culinary experience. Of course, we're gonna bring you some different stuff soon. Just stay tuned. Really appreciate it if you could press the like button just below. Press the like. Appreciate it if you could subscribe below. Press the subscribe. Of course, if you'd like to share this video with friends, go right ahead and do so. It would help me a lot in trying to get my YouTube off the ground. All right, everybody. There you have it, another Halifax mukbang, Jungle Jim's Ultimate Canadian Burger, done. I'll meet you back here next time, and don't forget to be hungry, because we're gonna have lots to eat. See you next time, guys.